Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 38 of Let's Platinum Danganronpa. One, two, reload. Alright, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, well hopefully not boys and girls, but anyway, <laughs> um, like as in too young to be watching, pay attention because things are about to get crazy. Oh, Makoto. Hero? Then the letter I found in my room. Yep, I wrote it. Your handwriting is really nice. Well, I was always taught that if you had bad penmanship, a ghost would come and haunt you. Who taught you that? And why did you want to meet with me? Hmm. Wait. He said, who taught you that? But he, well, Sorry, he thought who taught you that, and then the next sentence he said, and why did you want to meet with me? But I feel like it would have made more sense if he said, why did you want to meet with me? <laughs> That's interesting. Oh, I just did what Kyoko asked me. Kyoko? Actually, I'm just an errand boy on this. Hmm. Uh, anyway, what do you say to a late night bath session? With you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, huh? You know? Okay, let's do it. N no, I, I was totally lost. Hero grabbed me by the shoulder, pulled me close, and whispered into my ear. Serious. It's all an act, so the mastermind won't notice. Everyone's waiting in the bathhouse. What? Then, did Alter Ego finish his search? Uh, y you got it, Hero. Let's go take a dip together. I was probably louder than I needed to be. But me and Hero hurried to the dressing room. Okay, here we go. Whoa, everyone's here, even Kiondo. <laughs> Has he revealed his name yet? If he hasn't, he will soon. Uh, as soon as I got to the dressing room, an angry voice echoed out. You. Hey, you! How long are you going to keep us waiting? Taka's irritated voice pierced the air as he stared pointedly at his wristwatch. Yeah. It's almost 10 o'clock, you know that. Bedtime for all the good little boys and girls. Mm -hmm. Sh shut up. What? What'd you say? You want me to make you cry, little girl? Taka, he seems to be even worse than I'd heard. Well, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe he's finally starting to grow a personality. <laughs> what? You got a lot of poop falling out of that mouth of yours, you know that? How rude. A maggot like you has no right to speak that way to our heaven-sent master. Hey, she didn't um, stutter. Oh. Hmm. Are you back to your normal gloomy self? I can hardly keep track at this point. <laughs> Shh, shut up. Hey, come on. Well, anyway, everyone's here, right? Then my messenger duty is complete. Hey. You wanted us all to meet here, right, Kyoko? So, what are we doing here? How about that? Isn't it obvious? It's gotta have something to do with Alter Ego, right? That's right. Yeah, totally. Did he finally find a clue? What is it? A way out? The mastermind's true identity? Alright, let's speak to Kyoko since she seems to know. Well, she since she said nothing. It's gone. Gone? I came here a little earlier to check up on things, and that's when I discovered Alter Ego, the laptop, has disappeared. What? No way! You're kidding, right? Um Okay. Uh huh. What? She's gone? You can't be fudge and serious. What'd you do with him? Was it the mastermind? Did they finally notice what we were up to? I told Alter Ego to yell if anyone he didn't recognize appeared. If it was the mastermind, I'm sure he would have alerted us. Well, Maybe we just missed it? However, I was in the laundry room right next door all day. There's no way I wouldn't have heard it. But, but if it wasn't the mastermind, then... The solution to this particular mystery is obvious. It could only have been him. Mr. Ishimaru, you stole her, didn't you? What? what? I'm the ultimate moral compass. I would never do something like that. I don't... I think it counts when you say it about yourself like that. You. You're the suspicious one here. You're nothing but a big jackling sack of j <laughs> jackling, <laughs> jiggling sack of fat. Oh, I thought he was referring to Hina for a second there. I was like, damn son, that is rude. Um, shows what you know. This is my true form. I still have three more transformations left. <laughs> probably another. Um, well, uh, it's probably directed more to Dragon Ball Z as a reference, but. I think anime was specifically shown in anime in general, so that's cool. Uh, wait, I mean, it wasn't me. Everyone knows you're the thief. Yeah. Wrong, it's you! Serious. Well, I'm sure it was one of you, so whoever did it, uh, just hurry up and confess. Yeah. No, there's no way either of them did it. Huh? huh? Why not? So... I told Alter Ego to yell if either Taka or Hifumi came into the dressing room. What? Wh what? <sighs> It was a countermeasure against the clear danger that one of them might come for it. But I never heard any yell. Indeed. Exactly, which means it wasn't them. But... Then who was it? So that's it. 
The fundamental circumstances are becoming clear. If it wasn't the mastermind and it wasn't Taka or Hifumi, then quite simply, it was someone else. Hmm. Makoto, Celeste, Sakura, uh, Hina, Toko, or myself. One of us must be the thief. That's terrible. Why would any of us want to steal Alter Ego? How about this for a reason? There is a traitor among us. Huh? Hmm. One of us is working for the mastermind, a spy, and that's the one who stole Alter Ego. Can you deny the possibility? It, it can't be. Hmm. I've actually been thinking for some time now that there might be a spy among, one of, uh, among us. The mastermind brought someone in to help keep things moving smoothly. A spy for the mastermind? A traitor? No, it's impossible. Something that hor something that horrible? There's no way. What? Why do you not speak? Are you struck silent by your inability to comprehend such a possibility? What? I don't care. I don't it's care like... who. Someone, anyone, save her. Please rescue her. I'm begging you. I just want to see her smiling face again. Damn it. Same here. How many times do they have to kill Bro before they're happy? I'll beg. I'll scrape my head across the ground. Just please uh, give him back. Ow, scrape your head across the ground. So, um... That hurts. <laughs> I hurts to even think about. This is pretty messed up, but still, I think I kind of get how they feel. At the very least. I think Alter Ego is most likely still safe for the moment, at least. Yes, indeed. If they wanted to destroy it, they wouldn't have taken it. They would have done it right here. I see. So you're saying whoever did it has something else in mind for him? Something else? Damn it! That doesn't matter. Nothing. Nothing else matters. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> no matter what it takes, I'm gonna get him back. That's my promise, as a man. I swear, I will save her! Using the power of love. Ding dong, bing bong. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. An entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Hmm. It's night time. There is nothing to be done. It is unfortunate, but we will have to leave the search for tomorrow. For now, everyone get some sleep. <laughs> How can you be so casual? We don't have time to wait around. <sighs> What good are you if you are too tired? You'll be much more effective after a good night's sleep. <laughs> Who gives a pr crap about effective? We're talking about our feelings here. Calm down. <laughs> Anything we do at night brings a higher chance of the mastermind noticing us. Celeste is right. We should begin our investigation tomorrow morning. What do you think, Makoto? I agree with you. If we run around tonight in a panic, the mastermind is sure to notice, and we won't get anything done. Taka, Hifumi, I know how you feel right now, but it's best if... Just for tonight, you can try to endure it. This is fine. Okay, then let us part for today. We will begin our search for Alter Ego in the morning. Hmm. And you should think about what I said. Someone may very well be spying for the mastermind. Slowly getting his his voice is like not too hard, but and I know I'm not perfect at it, but getting the cadences down and like the timing and the inflections better and better I think at least that time around <laughs> um alter ego gone as quickly as he appeared we'd finally discovered some small measure of hope but even that was taken away from us and we couldn't even put up a fight we were given hope and then when that hope was taken away despair it's just like just like what the mastermind is doing to us then could it really be true whoever stole alter ego could they really be working for the mastermind if that's true no, it can't be. There's no way. I didn't even realize I'd yelled that out loud. The scary thing isn't the idea of someone spying on us. What's really scary is the idea that we're starting to doubt each other again. That scares me more than anything. Damn it. I threw myself into bed, trying to shake off all those unsettling thoughts. Before long, I fell into a restless sleep. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. -da. Murder is a word whose definition changes with time, with place, with society. If murder is evidence of an abnormality, then all of history's greatest heroes must have been abnormal. Sometimes the murders that 
that people forgive are way more abnormal than the ones they don't. Wow, that was really fast. Holy crap, even that one was... Maybe that one was faster. The interim between the announcements wasn't, but that Monokuma Theater was Good very fast. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Cool. Today, we have to look for Alter Ego. Okay, first things first. To the dining hall. Oh, and they automatically take us there. I found myself in surprisingly high spirits and hurried to the dining hall. But when I found out what was waiting there for me... Alright, let's see what we go. Hmm. Is this it? What happened to the others? Hmm. Aren't they coming? Alright, who are we talking to? There are only three people in the dining hall. Sakura, Hina, and Kyoko. So, including me... Only four people? God, this is why I hate people who take their sweet time with everything. However. <laughs> Isn't that you sometimes, Ina? Anyway, let's wait a little while longer for the others. <laughs> so we decided to wait in case anyone else showed up. But no matter how long we waited... Um... So it's 8 o'clock. We've been waiting here a full hour. Um... Why haven't the others come? Because, I mean... Hero and Celeste ne have never missed a day till now. And what I'm really worried about is Perfumi and Taka. They were more eager than anyone to look to look for Alter Ego, and they're not here. It can't be. Something must have happened. Huh? It would seem... I was careless. I was too distracted by Alter Ego. But Monokuma gave us a motive. There was no way something wouldn't happen eventually. Monokuma's motive. The money! Ten million dollars! I prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive. What do you think? It's ten million bucks. Ten million smackaroos. It's like totally wow, wow, wow. Am I right? Don't tell me someone did something for money. That's what I wanted to say, but I didn't bother. What? <laughs> but he did say that. <laughs> anyway, um, I already understood. I understood and I hated that I did. You can never really know another person completely. Anything can happen here and you can't consider it strange. Not really. Hey. We need to go look for the people who never showed up. Mm. Uh, okay, let's go track them down. Without another word, we left the dining hall. Hey. We can cover more ground if we split up. Sakura, you go check the dorms. Make sure to check all of our rooms. Makoto, you check the first floor of the school. First floor of the school. Meanwhile, I'll check the okay. second floor. Okay, then I guess I'll check the third floor. Anyway. Don't take any risks. If anything happens, call for help right away. I really hope nothing happens. So do I. Well then. Okay, let's go. Anxiety was written across each of our faces as we went our separate ways. Without hesitating, I rushed to the first floor of the school. Alright, okay, I need to look around the first floor. Alright now, just give me a second. Uh, okay, so the quickest way to do this is you just search a classroom. Or well, enter a classroom, exit a classroom, and then you go immediately into the nurse's office, and that should trigger the next sequence of events. That's pretty much the quickest way I figured out how to do this. Because it's like, they want you to search it, but they, they need you to basically just like look into one room, and then you go in here, and that should trigger the event? Or is it when I exit? Let me have a look. Okay, and now we exit, and this should trigger the event. There we go. S someone come here! What? That was Hina! Oh, sorry. I thought that was Celeste, actually. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry. That doesn't... Don't worry. Think nothing of it. Um, she's supposed to be checking. The third floor. There was no time to think. I was running for the stairs before I knew what was happening. Take the elevator. <laughs> I flew up the stairs leading to the third floor. Right away I saw her standing there in the hallway. Please! M Makoto! Hina, what's wrong? It's awful. The rec room door was open, and when I looked inside, I saw... I saw... What did you see? I better get the others, right? I I'm gonna go get him. You go on ahead, Makoto. Before I could say anything, she was rushing downstairs. The rec room? What did she see in there? Uh, by this point, I used to, I was used to acting without thinking, so without thinking, I leapt into the rec room. <laughs> so without thinking. The first thing I saw when I got in the rec room was... 
Oh my god. It was Celeste, and she was hurt. Oh my god, what's that on the ground? I mean, Celeste. <laughs> Makoto. Uh, C Celeste, what happened? I was stupid. I got attacked. Attacked? By who? I don't know if that's right. I guess it's whom, but anyway. By who? Um, I am not sure. Some sort of strange man. Strange man? A suspicious person whose existence is so unusual, I can't help but call him strange. Without a doubt, it was some sort of strange, suspicious individual. And that man attacked me with the hammer on the ground there. Okay, this thing that I was looking at before. What is this? Some kind of wooden hammer or something. Pretty strange design. There's some writing on the head. Justice Hammer 1. That is the hammer he attacked me with. I barely managed to avoid the blow, but I stumbled and fell. I now curse my lack of daily exercise. <laughs> so, you were attacked with this? Justice Hammer 1. Makoto, Celeste! Okay. I found Sakura. C Celeste, what on earth happened here? Apparently she was attacked by some kind of strange man. A uh, strange man? Tell us everything you can remember, Celeste. Be as detailed as you can. Well, it all happened earlier this morning. I woke up a little before 7am. Night time was not over yet. Not yet over. But I knew it was about to end, so I decided it would be okay if I... I decided to take a little stroll around the first floor. I understand now that that was a mistake. Anyway, that is where I first saw the strange man. I was immediately, immediately wary of him. He was obviously suspicious, so I decided to follow after him in secret. As I followed, I saw him go into the rec room. I tried to peek through the gap in the door, which is when he noticed me and... And that's when you were attacked. It happened after 7am, just after night time had ended. So if it happened just after 7 o'clock, then that was just about an hour ago, right when we were all in the all meeting in the dining hall. That attack, the attack caused me to lose consciousness, which would mean I was unconscious for about an hour. Well, I'm just glad you weren't hurt too badly. That is because I begged and groveled for my life. You... you did? As for me... I told... okay, and now she's like completely fine. I told him I would do anything if he spared me. I offered to lick his boots, whatever it took. I see. So you were willing to throw away all your pride. Indeed. It is a necessary skill for survival. Anyway, the important thing now is that we go search for the suspicious individual. If we do not hurry, this could become a serious problem. Celeste, what do you mean, a serious problem? When I looked in the rec room, I saw that the suspicious man was not alone. He had with him... Hifumi. Hifumi? After he attacked me, he dragged Hifumi away. You mean, Hifumi was kidnapped? Shouldn't we start looking for him then? Listen, Celeste, did anything in particular stand out about this strange guy? Did anything stand out? Well... Rather than trying to explain it, it would probably be faster if I simply showed you. Show us? Indeed. This is Hifumi's hand-me-down, his digital camera. You don't Actually. mean... I was able to photograph the suspicious individual without him realizing it. Huh? Seriously? Let's see it. <laughs> I would tell you not to be shocked, but I fear it would do you no good. With that strange comment in mind, we all looked at the camera. What in the hell? Huh? What? Well, you were definitely right about the strange part. Their face is totally covered. Is that a robot costume? As I said, a very strange, a suspicious individual, yes? So this weird robot guy dragged Hifumi away? And they took this right after being attacked. In other words, a full hour ago. Which is why we don't. if we don't hurry, it could become a serious problem. I believe I understand what happened. Well, no, there is much I don't understand, but... The point is, someone dressed like that dragged Hifumi away, and it happened over an hour ago. Just a second. This is bad, we have to hurry. Celeste, do you know where this mysterious man went? Let's see. When they left the rec room, they headed left. I see. If that's true, they were headed toward the stairs leading down to the second floor. Then he must be down there, right? Hmm. The second floor. That's where Kyoko was supposed to be. Huh? Speaking of which, why isn't Kyoko here? Um, 
Sorry, I didn't have time to go look for her. This is bad. If the strange man did head to the second floor, Kyoko might run into him. We have to hurry. Kyoko's in danger. As soon as the words were out of my mouth, we all rushed out of the room and down to the second floor. Hey, you two. But who said that? Well, we'll find out next time. I want to thank you all very much for watching episode 38 of Let's Platinum Danganronpa 1, 2, Reload. My name's Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.